In this quick video, I'm going to overview the marketing application right over here. So if we click on the from the home page and we go to the marketing, we can see the objects that are related to marketing. So let's take a look. We can see immediately there's chatter, campaigns, leads, contacts, opportunities, reports, dashboards, materials and answers. I'm going to go right into the ones that I haven't covered and that is campaigns. Let's take a look. So I immediately it takes you to recently viewed and what I like to do is to go to all active campaigns and that helps me just see everything. Um, maybe I haven't looked at some in a while. You can see that some are pretty old and some are, have closed. And so you can easily go right there. And if we click in, we can begin to see uh, some of what these campaigns look like. Let's take a look at one just for interest's sake. Okay. We can see that this was a qualification campaign. It only has two members, and I've sent some emails there and logged a few calls, and this one is in progress, okay, and we didn't close it at the end of that month. Let's look at some leads. Again, it's going to take me to the recently viewed. I'm going to go right over here and say all open leads. Let's take a look and see what we have. I can immediately begin to use this as a list view, all right? So I see some leads. I can add this person to a campaign. I can also go down and change the status, change the owner and send an email to this person. I can then also go down and look even further. So let's let's go through and see what we have. So I want to go with this person right here, Amelia Bure. If I click on Amelia, I can immediately begin to see the lead status that she's in. She hasn't been contacted yet and I want to begin to move her through this pipeline. I can begin to have a call with her and recap that call right here. I can reach out to Chatter and maybe have a question or poll on her. I can look at the details of the specific person. I can see their email, where they're based. I can also begin to think about uh, their status. And let's say, for example, that I've changed, that I've contacted them and they're looking good and I'm moving them through the pipeline. So we're saying I've contacted them. I'm going to click Save and notice what happens right over here we've moved through this pipeline okay so that's the key thing about leads is that we lead them through this pipeline i can also look at some contacts that i have and again it's going to take you to recently viewed i use this account for um, demo purposes or some of these i haven't looked at in a while again we can look through each of these we can look at our opportunities which is probably the most important and if I go to all opportunities, I can begin to see where each of them are, all right, and get a good overview of them. So what I can see here is I can see who who has won. I can begin to see that this person here is in qualification. So I'm going to go right here and take a look at where we are. And so what I've done here is actually create um, almost a a funnel for them to see exactly where they are right this person is still in prospecting and what I'd like to do is actually get them through so let's say as an example that I have met with them I have qualified them and this basically is how much money they are worth right so this is quite a small amount and so what I want to do is move them from the stage from prospecting and say that I have actually moved them into qualification stage okay and I'll click save right there and immediately we can begin to see that they're in qualification stage. We can also go through our reports and dashboards related to marketing, materials and answers and I hope this has been a good quick little overview of the marketing apps. I'm going to go through each of these objects in a moment and I hope you enjoy this lecture.